Hi guys, and welcome to my channel, Moxie DIY in Java. I'm Michelle. Today, we're going to be doing some Lux for Less DIYs. All of these are gonna be Pottery Barn inspired, but for a lot cheaper. So grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me. For our first DIY, you will need a planter, air dry clay, a popsicle stick, or embossing tool. Not pictured is parchment paper, rolling pin, and a sanding sponge. to roll our air dry clay thin enough to work with um, pretty much so it can drape over the planter easily. Our water is going to act as the glue that will hold the air dry clay onto the planter. I'm just going to be using the water and the parchment paper to smooth out the clay as much as possible. Now I am drawing vertical lines with the popsicle stick. You can also use an embossing tool for this for more rounded lines. 
this creates more of a rectangular line. You'll see some small hands in this frame. This is my youngest son hanging out with me. and now we'll let it dry. I let mine go overnight. Now that it is dry, we're going to go over it lightly with a sanding sponge. You're going to use the fine grit side. This is just to smooth out some of the uneven edges. And here's the final look. I think I paid about $3 for this one. I like that price better than $59. For this DIY, you will need two metal bowls, jute, clay, 
hot glue gun with glue sticks, spray paint, scissors, and not pictured antique wax or brown paint, and candles for melting. For this part of the DIY, you can use either air dry clay or Dollar Tree clay. We're going to make the handle for the bell, and if you noticed in the inspiration picture, it's pretty rough looking, so I'm purposely not trying to make this look perfect. I'm trying to make it look more handmade. We're going to let this dry, but you'll notice in this next clip that I switched the parts where it was connected to the bowl to face inward. I noticed before it was dry that that was how the inspiration piece was instead of facing outward. This will be the base of our candle, and we only need to spray paint the outside and the rim, but not the inside. Then on the top, we will spray the entire bowl and handle. The inspiration piece has a bit of patina or oxidation to it, so we're going to create that. Here I am just dabbing and brushing the antiquing wax on, or you can use brown paint with a regular paper towel. If you are liking what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you like what you see, please consider liking and commenting below. Now it's time to fill the base. We are going to melt two of these white candles from the Dollar Tree, and I had a little bit left over on another one, so it ended up taking two and a half. You want to melt them low and slow to prevent any bubbling in the final product. Once they're melted enough, you can pull the wicks out. As you can see here, I've already glued them into the bottom. This one lost its base, but that's okay because we're going to tie a knot in the end and glue the knot into the bottom. Now to secure the wick, I'm going to tape it to a popsicle stick. 
The wax is melted, so I'm going to pour it carefully into the bottom of the candle. Now we're going to let it cool. It will take a few hours. In total, this candle cost about $5.50 to make. For this DIY, you will need Jenga blocks, glue of your choice, black paint of your choice, and a vase from the Dollar Tree. You will need 16 Jenga blocks for this project. Using super glue, we're going to glue them into an L shape. I prefer super glue over hot glue because it's not as bulky, and I prefer it over the tacky glue because it's more of an immediate hold. We are going to create eight sets of this L shape. Once the paint has dried, we are going to assemble our bases. Using two of the L's, we are going to align it so that the longer part is going to be on the bottom and the vertical part will reach all the way to the bottom and to the top. And we will glue them together end to end. Then we will add the L's that have the shorter part on the bottom, where the vertical line is resting on the horizontal. I hope that's making sense. Now repeat it with the last four L's. Make these two hurricanes, it cost us around $2.40. For this DIY, you will need four of Dollar Tree's long planked signs, black card stock or poster board, white paint of your choice, scissors, and not pictured, a sanding sponge, a scraping tool, sharpie, stir stick, popsicle sticks, jute, and hot glue.
On some of these signs, the paper came off real easy, and then on others, it just didn't. This is a heat gun that I got for Christmas. If you don't have a heat gun, you can also use a hair dryer to melt this glue and get it off a little easier. For this particular sign, I wanted the planks to be visible on the front of the sign rather than using the plain back. I used my silhouette to cut out these letters in the font Rockwell in the size 8 inches by 10 inches. If you don't have a silhouette, you can print the letters using your word processing software on your computer and then cut out the printed letters. By printing out the letters instead of painting them on, we now have an interchangeable sign with home as the first one love as the second. Because I used black poster board, the inside of it is white, so I'm just going to go over the edges with a black sharpie to make the entire thing black. I'll be using a combination of wood glue and hot glue on this.
these popsicle sticks are to give the joints a little more strength. Now that it's put together, I'm going to go over all the edges. If you are on Instagram, I would love it if you would look me up. My handle is in the description box, and I would equally love it if you made one of my DIYs and tagged me in your post. Here's where we can choose how we're going to attach the letters. Velcro, glue are some options. Lucky for me, I did not attach my letters at this point because as you will see, I spelled the words wrong. Here you can use a bone folder or a popsicle stick to depress some lines into your letters following the lines of the boards. Now I will be going over the lines I just made with some white paint. Then to age them a little bit more, I am going to go over them with a Sharpie. And now is where we attach the words. You can use Velcro or glue as mentioned before. I am using masking tape so that way this sign is truly a multi-use sign. 
That way, if I don't want any of these letters on there at all, I can still use the backing for something else. This sign is a whopping 23 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches big and it only cost around $7.50 to make. For this DIY you will need a vase of your choice, hot glue gun with glue sticks, gold faux leather ribbon, and scissors. I already had this vase on hand. As you can see, some of the gold came off when it was put in the dishwasher. Oops. If you don't already have one on hand, Dollar Tree sells some as well. With this DIY, there is no rhyme or reason to the wrapping, so just do whatever makes you happy. This DIY ended up using just shy of two rolls of the faux leather ribbon. This DIY ended up costing only $3. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope that you enjoyed these DIYs as much as I did. And if you did, 
please consider hitting that subscribe button. Until I see you in the next video, take care.